On tonight's newscast, we feature three software programs that can be used for analysis in healthcare. Let's begin with a story on IBM's SPSS software package. SPSS is IBM's statistical package for the social sciences. It was originally launched in 1968 and later acquired by IBM in 2009. It is used by over 24,500 companies worldwide and has been found to be particularly useful in analyzing survey data. In fact, just recently, one hospital in Ireland has used SPSS to explore the attitudes and knowledge gaps of healthcare workers surrounding the LGBTQ population. Our next segment looks at STATA in healthcare. Created in 1985, STATA is a complete integrated software package which allows for data manipulation, statistical analysis, and visual reporting. Its uses in healthcare analysis abound. Some recent examples include a meta-analysis study from Iran that was interested in finding out if current hepatitis B vaccine guidelines were sufficient in that area of the world, or if additional boosters of the vaccine were in fact recommended. The study showed current guidelines were adequate. Another study from the US sought to understand why there continues to be racial and ethnic disparities concerning the rates of influenza vaccinations in our country. Unfortunately, this study found a larger cohort would be needed to make any broad statements on the matter. Finally, STATA has been used in Western Europe to explore the changing landscape of mental health in the last 20 years. Our final segment highlights SAS in the healthcare sector. SAS's vision is to transform a world of data into a world of intelligence. In the healthcare sector, SAS provides analytic insights that drive value-based healthcare. This is accomplished through embedded AI, image analytics, and machine learning. SAS is used by 3,483 healthcare sites in 49 countries. Some recent examples of SAS in healthcare include the Michigan-based billing company RevSpring has used SAS to simplify the patient experience. The company uses advanced analytics and machine learning to bill patients according to their unique financial and transactional histories. Patients say this clears up a significant amount of confusion over the billing cycle. In another story, the Chinese pharmaceutical group Livzin uses SAS to improve their budget cycle. In fact, Executive Vice President An Ning states, after implementing SAS, we were able to shorten the budget development and approval cycle from three months to just 30 days. She goes on to say, additionally, we now spend the majority of our time analyzing the information, not collecting and validating data. Thank you for tuning in to our newscast on statistical analysis in healthcare.